welcome to another episode of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, the show that asks the questions that you should be asking but may not be asking, the show that brings you the information so that you can be enabled to make more informed decisions for both you and your family. Again, welcome to another edition of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Today we have two special guests with us. And we are asking that you gather your pens and papers because we have so much information for you today. Call your friends, your family members, because you need this information. You have a friend or family that has a child in these situations. Si ou bien un petit moun ki enceinte, ou bien un petit moun ki on prodige de petit moun ki yo boli l'école, je dis on nous gagne information pour vous. Pour faut qu'on ait que gagner espoir. So fait si mon ça qu'on ait que à travers de choses ça gagner espoir pour you. So get your pens, get your papers, and get informed. So today with our two guest speakers, gentlemen, our lady, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Miss Sonia White. I am the resource coordinator at Innovations Charter School of West Orlando. I'm Abdul Rashid Ajayi, at uh, assistant director at Innovations Charter School of West Orlando. All right, what, what makes Innovation West Orlando different from other charter schools that are out there? Innovation, what makes us different is that we're the only middle school that offers course recovery. Okay, and what is course recovery? Course recovery is when you recover from the course that you have failed. Okay. So what exactly is credit recovery? Is that the same as course recovery? Yes, it is. And what it is is when a student has failed and they need a, that credit to graduate, they have the opportunity at our, on a middle school level mm -hmm. to recover that credit by taking it online. Okay. All right. Does your school offer uh, free tutoring? Yes, we do. Is that only during school hours or do you guys have it after school also? The free tutoring is offered Monday through Friday, and they get it with the, they have the one-on-one, -on -one, we have the parents in the classroom, and also they get it on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.45 to 4 p.m., and on Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Mm, so you make it available for them on Saturdays also? Yes, we do. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Do you know any other middle schools that offers this special program that you guys offer? Currently, no. Um, a lot of schools will start later in the child's academic career, but in terms of middle school, catching them early, we're the only program that I know of. Okay, and which counties do you guys actually cover? Well, since we're a charter school, we can serve anybody that can make it to our school. So okay. we can do our Orange, Seminole, Osceola, because we're a charter school. Okay. Um, as far as the computers are concerned, at your school, does the student have to be in front of a computer all day? No, ma'am, not at all. Um, they can, they will be in front of the computer as much as we find out that they need to be in front of the computer. So we have one or two computer classes minimum every day because a lot of our students don't have internet at home. But also, if we see that, I, since I'm the assistant director, I always assess where they are. If they're towards the end of the year, starting to get a little crunch time for them and they still need to catch up on a few things, we implement another lab and things like that for them. Oh, great. Um, what grades do you guys cover? We cover six through nine. Six through nine. Yes. So anyone that's in the 10th grade would not be welcome at your place or you don't have a spot for them at your place? Not at our school, but our sister school, which is New Direction Community School, which is exactly right next door to our school. That's awesome. So our kids go from our school, if they don't go back to the traditional high school, they will go to New Direction. Oh, wow. Did you hear that? <laughs> so, élève qui na dixième grade est plus haut, capable d'aller dans même l'école là. So, you get support, you get aid pour élève ça yo. Pas de raison si on timon enceinte. Il pas de retourner l'école pour que li parle dans l'école ça. Let me ask you, for the students that cannot make it to your school because of transportation issues, do you guys help those students? Yes, uh, we're partnered with Lynx, so we give out bus passes, and also we have an activity bus, so depending on where they live, we try to set up certain stops where the activity bus that we have will go and pick up the students and bring them back to the school. Oh, wow. You see? 
there's help and there's hope. Oh, that's awesome. As far as um, the school calendars, do you guys follow the school calendars? Do you honor that? Yes, we do. We follow the Orange County Public School calendar. And the reason being, this helps the parents be able to set up their vacations. If they have other children in like elementary or high school, we all follow the same calendar. It makes it easier on the parent and the student. True, true. Extracurricular activities, the fun part. Do you yes. guys offer that? Yes, we do. Um, I'll let Ms. White speak to some of the ones that she does, but I can say as a general rule for me in the school, I gauge the interests of the students. Mm -hmm. So if we have a student that says, you know, I want to do something with nature, we do the research, we try to find a resource in the community, and then we try to implement that so that the kids get whatever experience it is that they're looking for. Nice. So at our school, of course, we have the activities room, in which covers dance, choir, um, we have, we're going to start this year the new gaming club for the students, but I'm very proud to say that we do have um, Girl Scouts, and I am the troop leader, Troop 2268. So if you would like to be a leader and you want to be a part of our awesome Girl Scout, in which we are multi-level, so we take from fourth grade all the way up to high school. Oh, nice. And we do a lot of stuff. That and is And we are very nice. excited. And, of course, we sell cookies. So remember Troop 2268. The month of January. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, most charter schools wear uniforms. Do you have uniform requirements at your location? Yes, we definitely do. And any student that is out of uniform, you will see me or the staff asking you what happened. And we understand sometimes kids might forget their uniform at home. It's raining and now they're soaked. We, we're going to help these kids out. We don't let them get in trouble for not having the uniform if there's something that we can help them with. Okay. So, you know, they, they're to wear red shirts, khaki pants, and closed-toed shoes. Oh, that's not too bad, <laughs> right? <laughs> and we do provide the shirts. Oh, nice. Yes. Very nice. Oh, gosh, we hear students complain about school lunches all the time. <laughs> Is there a difference at Innovative? Um, yes, just like um, the traditional school, we offer breakfast. And because we are a Title I school, we offer cold and hot breakfast. Nice. And every kid gets it for free, and we offer lunch as well. And we have our on-site school lunch program with the National School Lunch Program, where our meals are prepared right there on property. So they are fresh, and they follow, they get all the basic five food groups. Okay, okay. In our culture, which is the Haitian culture, mm -hmm. um, we find that a lot of the students that comes into the state, because of the language barrier, they get bullied a lot. Mm -hmm. Can they be a good um, um, prospect for innovatives, at innovatives? Yes. Uh, at the school, we have, a, we have a bunch of Haitian students as it is. So I'm a product of an immigrant as well. So my family's from Nigeria. So we don't, we don't discriminate in any way. And, you know, kids are kids. You know, they find little differences with each other and they pick on each other, but we don't allow it. We don't let it just go on and on and on until somebody's just sad and depressed. And that's, that's a major benefit that we have as a small school mm -hmm. is that me as the assistant director, I go around to every class, every day, every period. Ms. White, if she hears a class or she just wants to check on the kids, the staff is very active in the classrooms. So we, we make sure that we address bullying. And also, I'm a therapist by education. So bullying, I understand, is very serious. I know that this time, kids are, there's a spike in self-harm and suicides and everything. So I take it very seriously. And I make myself open and available to the students so that they know if they need to come and talk about it, if they know that they're having a hard time, even not just with bullying, with anything, mm -hmm. they're able to come to me. And they, they take advantage of it pretty much all the time. That's good. And with the language barrier, because at the public schools, you know, it's do or die. Yeah. You learn the language by force. Yeah. Okay, or die. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, is there a difference at Innovative for the, for the foreign student? Is there um, a language alternative that helps him to learn better at Innovative? Uh, with Creole, it's a little bit difficult because we don't have a native Creole speaker on staff. Mm -hmm. But we do have programs that will help them learn the language. 
And also, we're, we always try to service our students. Since we have a bunch of Haitian students already, mm -hmm. it's not as bad as it could be because, you know, they'll, they'll translate, they'll help out. Their kids can be really mean or they can be really nice. And yeah. a lot of our kids, especially the Haitian community that we have, they're really nice to each other. Okay. So they take care of each other. Okay, okay. We know that there's some Hispanic students, too. Yes. That, um, that gets into trouble. And because of that, they're dismissed from the public school. Mm -hmm. Do you accept those kind of uh, students also? Yes, we do. Yes. We have two small labs in which we have uh, Rosetta Stone on those computer labs. And it also helps the students that um, do not speak the native English language. However, we have tutors that come on, on Skype to help them with those areas that they need that extra tutoring with them. And then a lot of times, the students, they learn from their peers. So we encourage peer tutoring as well when they're in the smaller lab. Okay. All right. So if a student, now I've seen this happen several times, mm -hmm. a, a student, a child gets pregnant and they drop out because mm -hmm. they don't want to feel ridiculed. Mm -hmm. Yes. How can you guys help in that aspect? Well, what we offer, we have different programs. And one of the programs is a diversion program. And um, with that diversion program, the students have a modified schedule. They come in from 7.30 to 12. They're in the computer lab. They do all their work online. And what, before they leave for their day, of course, they get breakfast and lunch. And so we've had um, students in the past that were, had a baby and they were pregnant. And once they were at that, air, that point where they can no longer sit in the classroom, or they feel, you know, the pregnancy having a few challenges, mm -hmm. what we do is we sign them out a laptop. So that student is able to continue their education at home, in the privacy of their home, because the Fast Track program allows them, as long as they have internet, they can do the classwork online. Wow. And we do offer that for our students, because we don't want no child left behind. No matter what challenges they face, we at Innovations, we do everything within our power to accommodate that student. Okay, so I've never heard that before. Yeah. Um, I have to translate this for especially my people out we there. We encourage it. Si ou gon ti moun ki ansent, ok, on elev ki ansent, li pa oblige pa ale l'ekol. Na Innovations, yo ba li on laptop, pou ke l'ka fe devoa la kay li. Sa très important, parce que depuis ti moun nan ki te high school, les, les pas retourner pour graduer, son problème lié dans la communauté. Hein. Non seulement dans la communauté, hein, mais les familles ont un sens plus dégradé et, et valeur de ça. Avec Innovations, ils ont aidé les ça pour qu'ils soient capables de graduer. Là, ils ont mis un laptop pour faire de voir la Kylie. I thank you so much for providing that. Because it's so important. You know, the dropout um, scale. What a change because of this opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, thank you. I don't know who came up with that, but I am grateful for at least the young people out there that are pregnant, you know, and, and struggling. Yes. Thank you so much. You um, much. At Innovations, when do you guys have open enrollment, or can anyone come at any time and enroll? What we try to push is for everybody to come in before the start of school. Mm -hmm. We like that we start the school year with the kids. We get them integrated into our system so that they learn the consistency that we try to endorse throughout the school year. We do have open enrollment, so you know they can drop off an application at any time. We just want them to come in as early as possible. Don't wait. Don't think about it too long. Mm -hmm. um, bring your kids as soon as possible so they can get into the system, learn how we do things, and then they can start to really push for their education. Okay. All right. So you heard. Okay, the earlier, the better. Pibonus, uh, gomate. We know that not all students are perfect. Yes. You know, as parents, we already know. We, we're dealing with reality. How do you deal with the um, correction side? The, um, how you call it? How do you do with correcting a child that's, that's, that's disordered? Um, we have a system that's called Name Check Circle. So in the classroom, we will first do a verbal. Hey, little Johnny, take a seat. And, you know, sometimes Johnny may not listen right away. Sometimes they do. And the next step is, okay, we're going to put your name on the board. Then a the step after that, 
you put a check by it, then after that is a circle. Um, some of the teachers have been around long enough, worked in this environment long enough with these kids long enough that they don't necessarily send them out once they circle their name, but they'll let them know, hey, this is it. Mm -hmm. The next, next step is to have an intervention with Mr. Rashid. Um, if they do get sent out, then they come to me, we'll perform an intervention. Um, we're looking into having some software where if they have a continuous problem, mm -hmm. that they will go in, they'll do a module on that behavior, and then they'll go back to class. A lot of times, I'm able to sit down with the kid, ask him what's going on. It has nothing to do with school, it has nothing to do with the teacher. Mm -hmm. Something happened at home yesterday, something that they saw brought up something, and they just needed a minute. So I encourage them, before you get in trouble in class, before you have a problem with the teacher, let me know before the day starts. Mm -hmm. I always do my best to disseminate the information to the teachers as it comes, and that usually eliminates the problems. Okay. Uh, our motto when it comes to these students is prevention is easier than intervention. So if we prevent the behavior by meaningful lesson plans, um, filling the entire class period, because sometimes you'll see a teacher give, give students worksheets over and over and over, in other schools and that's why the kids are showing out. They, they've learned the system so quick that they can do that worksheet in five minutes mm -hmm. and now they have 25, 35, 45 minutes to act up in class. Mm -hmm. At Innovations, we try to push that we fill the entire class period with meaningful, interesting, immersive curriculum mm -hmm. and then that tends to smooth out a lot of the other problems that we may have. Okay, all right. Um, double promotion, you guys offer that. Yes, we do. With the Fast Track program, we, have, we give the students the opportunity to be double promoted because a lot of students, um, they might have missed, were retained like in sixth grade and only missed a half a credit. So what we do here at Innovations is that we allow that student to travel with the seventh grade, do online the work that they missed, and also sometimes they can do two grades in one year. It is based on the student. We, we don't sell any pipe dreams, but we do know that every kid can learn. And a lot of kids learn different. Mm -hmm. A lot of kids, they learn faster. A lot of kids are more organized than other kids. So with the Fast Track program, it allows them to do the work in the classroom, to do the work at home. They can do it over the weekend. Wherever they have internet connection, they can do that work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good. <laughs> yes. um, what have been some of your high points at Innovations, if I may ask? You want to go first? Well, one of the things I'm very, almost like a proud mom. At Innovations, we have teachers, of course, we have to teach by the lesson plan. Of course, we have to teach by the book. But our teachers and staff, we teach and we, we help our students out from the heart. A lot of us are grandmothers like myself, and we go that extra step. So our title may be a teacher, but sometimes we're the hairstylist, we're the therapist, Aww. we're the nurse, we're the driver, we're the fashion designer, we're the listener. We do more than just that. Oh, wow. But one of my success stories, I would say, I guess because of the simple fact that I was a single mom, and I knew what it, what it took. It took a lot of determination it took a lot of sacrifices that you had to make. And I had a student who was in my class about two years ago. She was a single mom mm -hmm. in our diversion program. And I watched this young lady. She was so determined to graduate, to finish so she could move on to high school. She, one of the particular cases where she didn't have a babysitter. Mm -hmm. And I kept asking her brother, why isn't your sister in school? But I see on the re fast track report she's making progress okay. and I couldn't understand and I knew that family did not have a computer in the home that young lady was doing her work on her smartphone wow she did not miss anything and to run into her a year later to see her working on a job and I was like oh my gosh I can't believe you you know you have a job she was like well miss why you already told me I had to make my own money I had to be accountable, and that's what wow. I'm doing. So that was like one of my proud moments, even though she was no longer a student at our school, but to run into her working on a job mm -hmm. and to see that she made it, she was determined against all odds, against her being 
outside of her environment mm -hmm. and still making it. Not a product of her environment. That she took it. I mean, there were days where she brought her child to the parent nights, to the events we had at the school. That did not stop her. Mm -hmm. So just to see her make that, that was a very proud moment at Innovations to see our students that come back and tell us and say thank you. Mm -hmm. Or you think Johnny isn't listening to you in the classroom and you, he's looking off. But what you're saying, he's processing those little nuggets that you gave him. And to see them come back and say thank you or mm -hmm. to write a note or to hear them talk with another student. Yeah, that does make sense. Mm -hmm. Those are those little small proud mm -hmm. moments that we have at Innovations. Mm -hmm. and. That's priceless. That goes beyond getting a pay raise. Oh, to wow. know that you've impacted a student yes. one way or another. Yes. And you know That's what? rewarding in itself. In itself. It takes more than a teacher to say that. That's You're true. right. Yeah, mm -hmm. it takes a caring parent, you know. So, wow, I feel, wow. <laughs> I have yeah. goosebumps. I wish I, I attended Innovations now. Oh, thank you. Um, the IPS. Do you guys have the, what is it, the, the IEP yes. um, program? Do you have that plan at Innovations? Yeah. Yes, at Innovations, I always get this question all the time. My mm -hmm. child has an IEP, can they come to your school? Mm -hmm. The answer is always and unequivocally yes. Um, my teachers are experienced in dealing with students with IEPs. Mm -hmm. We're experienced, I'm experienced in dealing with people and children, especially with mental health disorders. So there's almost no situation that I can see where a child cannot attend at Innovations. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you have extreme situations, but half of the time we don't get those phone calls. But if your child has an IEP, we accommodate every student. And we accommodate every student because not only the children with an IEP need help, some of the children are undiagnosed. Mm -hmm. Some of the children, their parent doesn't take them to a psychologist for an IEP. So we accommodate all the students. Some are strong in math and reading, but mm -hmm. they need help with grammar. Mm -hmm. Some need help with science. So we identify a problem, we talk about it as a team, because that's the major benefit of this small setting is that we notice little things a lot faster. Mm -hmm. So we get together as a team and we accommodate those students as necessary. Okay, that's awesome. So how long have you guys been in existence? Ten years. So you're not new? No. You've been doing this for a while? Yeah, the school <laughs> was founded by a few people and the executive director is Dr. Leitner and she saw the need. There's a ton of students that by the time they got to the high school level or got to eighth grade that they were selected against. Mm. Nobody wanted them mm. alternative school after alternative school and she made it a point to get them early, mm -hmm. to try to work with them early, mm -hmm. make a program where they can get into the right grade because that's where the hopelessness comes from. I'm a 16 year old eighth grader. So as soon as they realize it, I only have two more years and then nobody wants to deal with me. So taking those children, getting them into a program where they can catch up. So they go from being a 16 year old eighth grader to a 16 year old 10th grader. So that you see a light bulb go off in their eyes. You see them very proud. They stand up a little straighter. They walk a little better when they see that they're getting the work done. Oh, wow. And I'm sure that that decision was not coincidental. No. So we are grateful at IAAM and at um, Community United and at Don't Ask, Don't Tell wow. for the person that thought of this and brought it into existence. We mm -hmm. thank God for putting it into their mind to make it exist. Because again, there's so many students out there that are in need of this. And so many people don't know about this. Innovations is not far. It's right around the corner. As a matter of fact, you have an event coming up, yes. right? On the 10th, I believe. Yes, ma'am. So if someone needs more information, how can they reach you guys? Well, they can, several ways. They can call the school, 407-440-2846. They can go to our Facebook. We'll be having information posted daily. Um, they can go to our website, or they can just stop by. So mm -hmm. they, and we, we've been passing out flyers. We put out everything in the mail because we want everybody to know that if your child is struggling, they can come here. Yeah. And even if your child isn't struggling, you want them in a smaller setting, for whatever reason, we are here as well. That's right. That's right. And we're right here in the Pine Hills community. We're in the back door of everybody's pretty much neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. you can just log on to the website, www 
imscharter.org. Is there any last message that you would like to give to the parents out there that are watching, friends that are listening, that knows parents that have students or children that are in that predicament? Any kind of advice, any message? Uh, my message is, is that I want everybody that is able to, to join our family at Innovations Charter. We work very, very hard, and we have been working ex extremely hard this summer to make sure that the school is in tip-top shape and that our education and our academics that we offer to the kids have been A1. They can go anywhere for an education, but I want them to come to Innovations and get our small school experience so that they can see that we fully care about their children. Because mm -hmm. some, some of the parents that you'll see, they'll, they'll tell you that they know my kid by name, mm -hmm. they know things about my kid, they mm -hmm. know what my kid likes, they know what he dislikes. At some other schools, you know, your kid gets, it's just a number, your kid gets washed in. Mm -hmm. So at Innovations, we know every single child. And you, Miss White? And just like Mr. Rashid was saying, we know all the children by name, pretty much. And I just want to let you know that we're village keepers. It's going to take a whole village. So we're the little village right there in the Pine Hills area. We're here to help equip your children, empower them, and to educate them that they can be successful in life. Because remember, they are the next generation. And it's up to us to invest in our children. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching another episode of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. Until next time, see you again.